The Corn Children's Foundation in Boca Raton is hosting a family fun night and is aimed at teaching the community about autism acceptance. And joining us live right now to talk about this awesome event in a very great position now open is CEO Sharon Alexander. Sharon, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you so much for having me back. And I see you are wearing green today instead of your customary purple. Can you share a little bit about why that is? So today, today is Get Your Green On Day, which is a countywide initiative that's celebrated during the month of May, Mental, Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, Unicorn Children's Foundation believes strongly uh, in improving mental health, reducing stigmas, and especially nowadays, it's okay to not be okay. So we've added a lot of courses to our repertoire that are helping uh, youth and young adults with developmental and learning differences develop coping skills or teaching them strategies in dating and relationships to really ensure that they maintain uh, good mental wellness. And Sharon, can you uh, talk to us a little bit about the Family Fun Night event? So our Family Fun Night, with our first event was last month. It's an opportunity to open the doors of our Unicorn Connection Center in downtown Boca Raton, inviting families and their children into, and their young adults, uh, into a very sensory friendly environment. It gives them an opportunity to have a great time um, as well as get to experience the different types of programs we have. So we do things such as karaoke. We have uh, unicorn cookie decorating. We have our uniquely gifted boutique open where people can purchase products made by individuals with developmental differences. And then in our cafe, we are in our one room we have board games uh, our cafe we're serving kindness one cup of, at a time uh, with our special perks baristas and we are also doing arts and crafts um, we do this the last wednesday of every month it's a great hit it's open free to the community for people of all ages and all abilities and it's so interesting about this children's foundation it has so many opportunities including job opportunities out there so can you tell us about that Yes, so right now in our Special Perks Cafe, we are hiring uh, baristas to work either in our cafe or our mobile coffee cart that goes out to, into the community. We're also looking for a manager. But in order to become a barista, we actually put individuals through our barista training course. Um, they earn industry standard certifications as baristas, as well as food safety handlers. These are qualifications that they would need in any cafe. Uh, we hold our employees to the same standards as any other organization would. Um, if people are interested, we're starting our next cohort of trainees uh, in mid to late June, and they can learn more on our website at www.unicornchildrensfoundation.org. And we understand your nonprofit has sent a, an appropriation request for funding of your vocational training program for those young adults with developmental and learning disabilities out there. So where do they stand right now in the state's capital? So this is really exciting for us. This is the first time we've done anything like it. We've had great support from the community. Uh, we are so grateful to Representative Chip Lamarca, Senator Tina Polsky, uh, they both sponsored this bill and ensured that it got into the final budget. So right now, it is in the final budget, awaiting to go to the governor's desk for signature. Um, it's a really great opportunity, allowing us to expand our employment and entrepreneurial programs across the state of the across the state of Florida. Um, these individuals can earn industry standard certifications and high growth job sectors. Uh, we all know there's a labor market shortage mm -hmm. and our young adults with developmental and learning differences really can be reliable and capable employees. And that's right now a very untapped market uh, as employers go. And Unicorn Children's Foundation is, to, is here to support those employers, making sure they know what types of accommodations uh, that really may not, not cost any money at all um, they can make within their businesses and honestly the businesses that we worked work, worked with have said that these employees bring so much joy to their business and to their clientele so we are hoping that by in increasing this program uh, we will have more businesses accepting our our young adults and employing them so that they can earn uh, you know living wages 
Right, and Sharon, we look forward to getting an update on that. I'm sure we will be speaking soon, definitely. Sharon Alexander, CEO of the Unicorn Children's Foundation based in Boca Raton, joining us live. Thank you so much.